Welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I had a question about uh, these two radios, the Bofang UV5R and the brand new UV5R5. This is uh, it's a brand new upgrade to the older radio. And the question was, are there any differences with the scan speed of the radios now? With the newer, is the newer radio any faster? Well, I did a quick test using this little timer of mine, and the older radio, the UV5R, took Sorry for that interruption. I'm going to keep them scanning. They're scanning right now. It took 32 seconds to scan the 128 channels minus the six or seven NOAA weather channels, which I have set to skip when scanning. So it took 32 seconds to do that. And this radio, which is programmed with the same channels, took 28 seconds. So yes, it does scan slightly faster than the old one. And I did the test about four times, got the same results every time. This one was 32 seconds, this was 28. So I hope that answers that question. Now, what we're looking at now is we're, we're having the radio scan. And because this radio is a little faster, the newer one is a little faster, it gets through its channels and starts over again before this one finishes. So there's no way to keep them in sync. So they're out of sync. They will, when they re say there's, you know, a, a transmitter in Tampa that starts transmitting, it may take one or the other one longer to find it because it may have just passed that channel. So that's the situation, you know, kind of empirical testing here. Now, earlier, Now that's a uh, repeater in Tampa, and the older radio is picking up noise every once in a while on that channel, that frequency, where the newer radio is not doing it. And the squelch is set at the same level in both radios. So that would kind of, um, give some credence to the advertising on this new radio that it's less susceptible to noise. Now, does that mean it's less sensitive? I don't think so, because before, when I was setting this up, they both received that repeater, but this one, the newer one, you could actually hear voice on it, where the older one was just noise. So this radio was able to pick out the audio. I think that was the same repeater. Now, there's there's uh, three methods of scanning. And one method is the radio scans and when it receives a signal, it stops, but it only stays on the channel for a finite number of seconds that's set at the factory and they don't tell you what it is. That's one method. <coughs> Another method is it scans, when it receives a signal, it stays on that channel until that signal goes away or goes down to a certain level. And what I was seeing before was this radio was locking on to that noise on that particular channel and it wouldn't go off it. So I've gone back to the other mode um, where it always stays on there for a finite number of seconds and then moves on. There's a third method, which I don't quite understand, but there is a third method. Okay, so both radios are set to... Okay, now that's a repeater in Holiday. I only got noise, that's all I got. And this, the older radio did not pick that up but maybe 
it didn't have time to get back around to that particular channel. I can say, oh, there it is. So now that radio picked up that repeater, which is in Holiday, which is maybe 10 miles from me. There it is again. So they're both reacting about the same on that signal. Now, whether that signal is actually coming from the repeater or if it's some noise in my office right at this moment, I don't know. I don't know because there is no audio there. So we're going to let them uh, scan here for a few seconds or a few minutes. That's the one in Tampa. That's the one that both radios were picking up, but the older radio... There's that holiday one again. Just noise. Uh, as I was saying before, both of them were picking up the one from Tampa. This one only received noise where this received a very weak audio signal. There's holiday again. I'm guessing that that's, that's either really transmitting or there's just... There's Tampa again. Just noise. That's Holiday. They're both picking up that one. Now to confuse you a little bit, I'm going to switch the radios around to see if position makes any difference. Okay, now I've got the older radio over here and the newer one over here. Moving them a little closer together. Now they're both using their stock antenna. And another claim about the newer radio is that the stock antenna is a better antenna. Now physically it looks the same, but they claim it's a better antenna. I'm not really seeing, except for that earlier where this one was picking up that was holiday again that that was tampa and i get right now i've got like i say all 128 channels programmed but i got it skipping the noaa weather because they're broadcasting 24 7 so it keeps stopping on that one. Ah, they're in sync now, <laughs> coincidentally, and they're both. Now, this one, this is the newer radio. I'm sorry I switched them around. May confuse you. Now that's a, that's a real um, repeater ID that's put out. And that was from a repeater in St. Petersburg, which is probably 10 to 15 miles from me. Now this radio picked it up. This one did not, but maybe. Maybe he hadn't gotten around to that channel to pick it up while I was on for that short period of time. Not what you would call very scientific testing, but the best I can do. All right. I'm going to go for about another minute. Would okay, they both hit holiday again. With the um, limited bit of testing I've done, and I, I've done this test about four times this morning because I had problems with my camera set up and my microphone set up so I've had to do it over again but the little bit of testing I did the, the new Bofang UV5R5 does seem to receive a little better it does now they're both getting that holiday repeater or I should say that frequency, now there was Tampa again, that frequency, which may be noise 
in my office or from someplace else. So anyway, what I was saying is I've kind of concluded with this limited testing. I've, I've been testing for about three hours that the new Bofang does slightly better on reception. There, both of them got that one. Yeah, both of them did a good job of that. That's, that was, let me let that go off. Um, that, that one that they both got and there was a clear uh, signal there, that is, is the Dunedin repeater, which is only about two and a half miles from me. So they both, both did a good job of that. So I kind of, you know, even though it's empirical data, it does give you a little bit of insight. Boy, they sure want to stop on that holiday channel frequency. I'm not even, the other thing is, I have not verified that these repeaters are still operational. Because um, over time, um, the people will, you know, give up on having a repeater and take it off the air. So I'm not sure I'm even that even that particular frequency is operational. But they both pick up that noise, whatever it's coming from. So anyway, that's the testing. Uh, be what it is. Enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Where's my thumb? There's my thumb. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.